Super Hyperion H6 has been found in our spider web. Are you ready? Welcome to the Spire Web, this is Spider here, and for this video, I'll be unboxing Super Hyperion H6. Well, it's just a recolor, really. Uh, but then again, it's not just a recolor. Unlike the original um, Super Hyperion H6, which came in the Vault Knockout Battle set, this Hyperion is a recolor, obviously, and it has the 1A chassis disc and Exceed Speedstorm Metal. As usual, I have to praise the box art. It's just fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, um, let's look at the back. So, yes, we have Super Hyperion H6. Um, the, the chip looks nice. Layer looks nice, or ring, however you want to say it. Um, fuse attack power, hooray, okay. D83 is the Hasbro name code for this thing, okay. Um, TSP 7 m which is, you know, exceeds Beast Star Metal. Um, there are the stats over there if you want to look at it. Nine attack? Okay, I wouldn't believe this, but I've seen how Hyperion performs. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a pretty accurate uh, rating right there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open this. I, I really can't wait to get my hands on this chassis disc. All right, so here are the Beyblade parts. Um, yeah, they all look pretty sweet. I'm really liking this recolor. All right, so the first part I'll be going over is the Hyperion H6 chip. It looks pretty nice. <clears throat> Excuse me? Yeah, I, I really do like this. It does look pretty nice. All right, so the thing about Hyperion chips is that they tend to have really good slopes, like really good. So I'm gonna compare this to the original one. Yeah, the original one's a little bit beat up, but pretend like that's not the case. Because the only reason why it's beat up is because I've been using it. Um, yeah, I really do like this recolor. I like how it has this blue here. <laughs> Probably a reference to Helios, but I'm not too sure. I would have to get Helios. Oh, but by the way, well, the, um, oh, well, did you look at that? Yeah, you, you have red here, blue here, and then you have wow. It really does. It really does look like colors were just swapped around. Some were amplified, some weren't. Yeah, it, this this just looks nice. I should not be disappointed with this because the um, slopes on Happy Rounds, like I said before, tend to be very good. Next up, we have the Super Ring, and oh boy, I just found something interesting. Take a look at this. Comparing the rings, this one actually has these fire stickers, while well, this one is lacking them. So this one has the recolor, might have more detail, but then again, it doesn't have the silver painting here like this one does. But in terms of like the wings or like the hit points, yeah, it has more detail. That is interesting. That is interesting. Um, I, I'm really I am liking this. Super is a very viable ring. It's very strong. <laughs> Will it be on par with Spear? I think it might actually be better than Spear, in a sense. Yeah, I love Hy Hasbro's Hyperion was just always good. They tend to always be good, so Super, this should be nice. This should be pretty good. I'm really liking Super. I'm gonna actually put the chip on right now. Yeah, this just looks nice. This really does look nice. Next up, we have the 1A Chassis Disc. I finally get the 1A Chassis Disc. All right, so 1A, very good. It has some, I'm pretty sure it has some great weight to it. I love the colors, I love the design. It just looks so good. Wish I would quit dropping this thing. Oh my gosh, I really love chassis discs. They're just so good. They're just so good. I mean, I have 1B also from the other, um, well from Helios, the recolor of Helios. So yeah, now I got two chassis discs in my collection. 
Oh my gosh, I just love them so much. So yes, get Chassis Discs. They're pretty good if you want to go in the heavy hitting game. Yes, Chassis Discs are the way to go. Finally, we have um, Exceed Speedstorm Metal. Now, I'm gonna compare this to the original Exceed. And then look, what is this? This is not, ex this is not another Exceed Speedstorm Metal. This is actually Zone Speedstorm Metal. So can you believe what Hasbro did? They actually inverted the colors on the metal drivers. I mean, think about it, because Helios' zone driver was blue, but we have a blue, a blue Exceed. And then Hyperion's um, Exceed driver is originally red, but look at this, we have a, a red zone driver. Of course, it's a metal driver, but still, that's just very interesting. That little Spider-Man theme. <laughs> yeah, Exceed Speedstorm Metal should be pretty good. Only downside to it is that it's, um, doesn't, it's spring isn't as strong as the original one, but that's only the, um, it's only because of this weight. It's trying to like, Hasbro's trying to balance the meta out. They don't want to have like such heavy drivers with such good springs. They kind of break their meta really. But yeah, this is just, I like this. I really like this, but wow. Okay, I told you the Hyperion slopes were good. These feel great. The burst resistance on this thing must be pretty good. This feels great. They're really good slopes. It's just tough. It's tough. This is what we want. This is what we need. This is awesome. All right, so we got this um, scale. I'm gonna go ahead and weigh these parts together. Well, I mean, part by part first. Uh, no, 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 I'll be right. Get out. Sheesh. Okay, 2.89 grams. I'm gonna do something fun. Let's get the original one. 2.82 grams. Now, don't get so excited like, oh my gosh, the recolor is heavier. I need to get that just for weight. No, listen, listen. This could be just because of some slight mold printing differences. So it, it could go either way. There, it's not even that much bigger of a weight difference. And honestly, I don't know why it's such a big deal <laughs> to get the heaviest chip. I mean, I mean, in some cases, like if you want to really get like heavy hits, yeah. But if it's something like super minor like that, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like go too crazy over it. All right, super ring, 7.49 grams. I'm only comparing them just to see if they end up matching up. 7.53 grams, nah. I always wonder if I'll get one that has like the exact same weight as the other. I think find like that would be hilarious. All right, weigh this all together. 10.38 grams. All right, let's go ahead and do this. 10.34 grams. See, this not, or 35. It's not that far away. All right. Overall, this combo is going to be heavier though, like the stock combo, because it has the chassis disc and the metal um, exceed driver. Oh, but wow, 23.48 grams for the 1A chassis disc. Yeah, these discs are really good. This is really good, especially for an attack type. 14.72 grams for exceed speedstorm metal. Nice. Put this all together now. Wow, the slopes still feel really good. 48. 0.56 grams, so that's nice. This is a great combo. I'm already seeing this one being pretty good. All right, let's do this. All right, so before I test this out, I would like to show you something rather interesting. You can, of course, you can put the original chassis disc on, Super Hyperion, and there you go. You basically get the anime combo. This, this is nice, this is nice. I really like this. I really like this, so I'm gonna be doing this from now on in my videos when I use Super Hyperion. Um, this recoil is just great. I already think it's a great pickup, but of course we gotta actually test it first before I give off my official review. So, test launch. Three, two, one, let rip. That bay looks nice when it spins. And of course this is only in this red sand. Wow, it zooms around pretty fast. It's zooming around pretty fast. I mean, I know it's an attack type, but in this red stadium, interesting. Good. Very interesting. Okay, all right, all right. Now, let's uh, get an opponent. Hmm, who should I bring? You know what, let's throw in Super Satoom. Excuse me, not Super Satoom, Curse Satoom. I'm thinking about Super Satoom for some reason. Three, two, one, left. Rep. Rep. I would use Super Satoom if it was good, but sadly, it's stock was just not that good. 
All right, we're already putting Hyperion up to the test. Can it beat Curse the Tomb? This curse is, of course, an offense type, and it has its roller gimmicks and everything. So this might be. Uh, if only it were going in attack. Oh my gosh, Universe does not have that good of LED. It's rather sad. Like, you doing that? Right? Ooh. Oh. Let's throw in Union Achilles. That's when we want to really test this combo out. We do one that. Right. Right. Now, if it beats Union, I'm gonna be happy. Like, really happy. Like, burst, ring out, survivor finish. Either way, I'm gonna be happy. Come on, you gotta take down Union. You just gotta. Anyway! Ah, it was close. It was close. It didn't burst, and the slopes didn't move or anything. And it didn't move Achilles slopes either. I'm gonna do one more round. Do turn that. Right. Right. Come on, have your on. We got this. Go in. You super strike, I believe that's what it's called. If only you were acting more aggressive in this stadium. You were zooming around pretty nicely before. Oh no, it just doesn't have the stamina in LED to match up to Union Achilles. But look at that LED on Union. You can't tell me how this sucks. That's just good. Alright, this ain't how this is really good. Let's start Glide Raptor and then we'll switch stadiums. Do you that? Right. Go I beer on. Whoa, big hit. Wow, another huge hit. Come on. Oh no, it's already out. It's gonna be out. Sadly, it is down for the count this time. Hey, rock the board, chill, chill, you won. All right, so yeah, that's how it acts in that red stadium. Of course, it's not as fun, in my opinion, when you compare to the Volt Knockout Bay Stadium. Now, let's do a test launch here. Do you turn that right? These blue launchers are nice, by the way. Yeah, I like that better. All right, Curse, it's time for a rematch. It's time for a rematch. Three, two, wait, 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 wait. I didn't even have Hyperion on the launch, but what am I thinking? This one that. Right. Right. Whoa! Was not expecting that. He hit, chipped the stadium. Wow, Curse is already wobbling. He's already wobbling. And Curse is done! First finish! Yo, we got a burst on Curse! That's nice! That's so nice! We got a burst! There we go. See, I'm already really liking this. If it can burst Curse. That's just nice. Now, Curse, of course, isn't one of the hardest of base birds. So let's throw in Glide Rathavar again. This Glide is really good. You doing that? Right? Right. Come on, hop down. Going for the attack. Use the third zone. No. And. Wow, real good hit on Glide. But, of course, it's not enough. Glide is the master of wobbling, and it has some pretty good stamina with the wheel disc and overall drive. So, okay, it's just nice. All right, now we got to throw in Helios. I mean, how can we not throw in Helios? But which version? I might as well throw in the recolor. You know, just to just to even it up. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, the like recolor with the metal driver and everything versus recolor with the metal driver and everything. You doing that? Right. right. Go on, you're on. Take down Helios. Versus the last spin. Now I have another bay in mind. Oh wow, come on. Yes, you take down Helios. Of course not with the burst, but you did pretty good. I am gonna use uh War Vanguard. Wait, will this work? Hey, look, I, I have this white spin. I can't find the black one anymore. But also, it just falls off. I guess you really do need that the uh, Japanese bird style launcher. So I might as well go ahead and grab that. Okay, I got it. Let's see how Hyperion fares against a Pro Series Bay. 3, 2, 1, let it rip! Oh my gosh, it sucks! Or Vanguard literally sucks! Wow! Or Vanguard is taking so many hits! Look at Or Vanguard camping! Wow, Hyperion, you just destroyed a Pro Series Bay. You know what? How, that was such a huge feat. I know um, Or Vanguard just stuck itself to death. But you know what? We're gonna give you a credit. You're a great bay. <laughs> Spider stats. 
Super Hyperion, great burst resistance, um, great attack power. I love the metal driver, it's pretty nice. Great slopes, great burst resistance. I think I already said burst resistance. Um, chassis disc, great recolor. Overall, I'm gonna give this bay. Let's, you know what? Let's be nice. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. The only downside with it is that it it doesn't have that good of LED for a driver with a free spinning ring, but hey, it's an attack type. I mean, it, it, it's not really like supposed to be the greatest stamina. You get it. It's not supposed to be that long lasting. However, I would say pick this up for real for the chassis disc, for the Hyperion recolor. It's just nice. For the metal um, XC driver, it's just pretty good. Overall, it's pretty good. So, 9 out of 10. Spider approved. Um, that's it for me. Thanks y'all for watching and keep blading. Alright, QR code? Sneak peek.